Here's to ruining my gut health with coffee. <laughs> First thing in the morning. and I have a workout at 9 15 so I made myself my coffee and I just cut up some like strawberries that I'm gonna snack on before my workout and yeah I just wanted to come on here start the vlog we have a busy day today I need to basically clean the entire house so we're gonna have like a little reset vlog i have to do laundry change sheets like clean all the floors i want to use my new bissell vacuum on the couch to like really thoroughly clean the couch what else yeah i don't know just a lot of stuff then i want to get done today but i've been really bad about having lemon water in the morning i have not been doing it i've been going straight for my coffee lately and I want to obviously get back to having my lemon water first because it's just so good for your gut health and obviously having coffee on an empty stomach is not but you know my coffee craving when I wake up first thing has been like insane and so I'm giving into that for a little bit and then I'll get back on track but I just wanted to be real with you guys like this is what's been happening i have not been like getting up and ice rolling and doing my lemon water i've been getting up and just being like i'm hungry on oh, my coffee i feed kaya who's <laughs> whining right now and just kind of like brush my teeth and head to my workout like a very very basic morning routine lately nothing crazy and i've been actually journaling at night so i haven't really picked out my five minute journal i've just been like journaling on my own and like setting my goals my manifestations all of that at night like after my day is done but like i said We'll get back on track it just i just needed like a few weeks of like simplicity sometimes i feel like morning routines like with tiktok and instagram and everything like youtube they start to get like really complex and my routines all the way around were getting so intense like between my skincare my hair care like my morning routine my gut health like i just felt like it was a lot and it became something that was like a a task and not something that was like bringing me joy so now when i want to do like face masks or like in like a full self-care day like i isolate time for that i don't just do it every other day or once a week i kind of like figure out if i have time and if i feel like doing it and i'll do it if i feel like it's gonna make me happy or make me feel better i'll do it if i don't have time then I just do my regular skincare. I will sometimes like ice roll while I'm making breakfast or while I'm making coffee, but I don't like sit and meditate and ice roll and do all that. But anyway, I'm coming on here, starting the vlog. Um, I'm gonna get ready, brush my teeth, and I booked F45 for 9.15, so that's gonna be our workout today. I love the Friday workouts. It's like a mix of cardio and strength training, which is like what I prefer. So I'm super, super excited for that workout. All right, we are on our way to F45. I also have a package that I need to return to UPS today so I'm hoping that I'm not too sweaty after my workout and I can run in and drop that off real quick but we're running a little late <laughs> I have five minutes to get there and 
I don't know that it's gonna take me five minutes to get there. I think it's gonna take me longer, but that's okay. skincare and put on comfortable clothes this sweatshirt is from Barry's boot camp and then I just have on these um pants from Lunia they're wool they're so comfortable and my house is freezing right now so I actually just put the temperature up to 72 and Rob's gonna probably kill me but I don't care like it's so cold in here the plan is I'm gonna go like full cleaning mode strip the bed Take all the pillowcases off of all the pillows in our house, take all the blankets out, fully do like a deep clean today, and yeah, I need to get my house together so that I feel like I have my life together, basically. So I'm going to start in the bedroom just because I want to get these sheets in the wash first so I can put them back on, and while they're in the wash, I'll clean the floors and the moldings and the windows and everything so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> exposing myself on YouTube but to be fair these piles of clothes are not mine and Rob has a system he says so he has to like separate them and then bring them in because his closet is obviously kind of small it's like the same size as mine those are mine <laughs> and those are just like extra towels and stuff that we have this used to house all of our coffee pods but since we don't really use our Keurig anymore, um, I think I'm gonna order a bunch of that Molly's stuff and put it in here. And then like leave it in the corner so that this is like more aesthetically pleasing and has to like stay clean. So that's one of my goals for this room, but it's literally like, it, I just can't. Bedroom's done, cleaned the nightstands, the windows, the floors, stripped the bed, all that good stuff. So now on to the bathroom. So you guys know I have like the tiniest bathroom ever. So instead of boring you and showing you everything I'm doing in here and trying to maneuver the camera, um, basically I'm just gonna take everything out, wipe down all the surfaces like normal, vacuum stuff for the floor. And then I wanted to show you, I got this little contraption. They have it at Target, but I bought it at Home Depot. And I've been using it to clean the shower and then also like the floors, like where the grout is, like this brush on the side is so good for that. And then 
this is obviously like to soak up some of the water and then the handle will swish out the water so this has been a lifesaver this is what i used to clean my shower I just take everything out of my shower i clean the floors the walls everything and then i just use obviously like our detachable shower head to rinse it all down i'll show you the after but the before is obviously like i guess it probably doesn't look that bad on camera but like my sink needs to be cleaned my floors are kind of dirty there's a lot of shit over there bathroom shower i'm gonna get to cleaning that because this is my least favorite to do i absolutely hate cleaning my bathroom my friend is so annoying <laughs> All clean. Looks so much better. I even cleaned up there, like dusted and everything, which I haven't done in like a month probably. All right, so bedroom's clean, bathroom's clean. I'm gonna do the kitchen next because Kaya's in our TV room, like sleeping, so I don't want to move her. But I like to separate my kitchen into two to two sections i usually do like this whole side first because this is like my true kitchen like where we like cook and everything and then i do the other side which is more of like it's like an extension of our kitchen i feel like it's not like really part of the kitchen it's like our entry <laughs> way so i always do that second but that side doesn't get as bad because we don't spend as much time over there so it's usually a little bit quicker for me to do so i try to like do the rooms and the areas i don't want to do first and then the ones that are easier i always save for later like when i'm sort of getting like over it so it's 12 30 which means our laundry should be done in 10 minutes so then i can put the sheets in the dryer and start a new new load of blankets and pillow covers and all of that so I think what I'm gonna do also, side note, I've been munching on these pretzels. I showed them in my last vlog. They're from Trader Joe's and I keep them in the freezer and they're so good. I've definitely had more than the serving size, but it's fine. I'm like getting my period soon, so I'm just like craving chocolate. All right, we're gonna do counters first floors last because I've noticed that if you do your floors first when you do your counters stuff comes off the counters onto the floors then you have to redo the floor anyway so hot tip clean top to bottom
All right, so I bought this Bissell vacuum off of Target and I've used it on the couch. It worked pretty well. So I'm gonna try to use it on this rug. Um, I am planning on getting it professionally cleaned. Rob has a friend who does that for a living. So I'm gonna try to use it on this rug and see how it works. This side already has like the fluid and stuff in it. I already mixed the stuff. This is what it uses. The Oxy Sport and Stain Pro. So let's see how this goes. I obviously like thoroughly cleaned my bathroom and my bedroom and then I was cleaning my kitchen as you guys saw and basically I did like all the counters and the floor like I vacuumed and swiffered the floor and then I was just like over it like I didn't even want to finish doing the floor but I just forced myself to today I'm just like I'm just not into it I just all I want to do is sit on the couch I'm like relax like I'm exhausted so my laundry is going to be done in like 20 minutes and I think I am going to do one more load because I do want to wash these pillow covers so I do think I'm going to probably do one more load and like wash these pillow covers and any blankets that are still in the laundry that were out and obviously like put my bed back together but I think I'm gonna save like this room, like cleaning the actual couch and like my whole TV room for later this weekend. And same thing with like the rest of my kitchen. I think I'm just gonna split it up into like two days. It's not a big deal. Like normally I like to get it all done at once, but I feel like if you've been watching the vlogs, like you know, like Rob and I have been like going, like even on work days we've had like events and things to do at night and i think i mentioned this this morning but like rob slept in he did not go to the gym he like pushed his meeting back this morning because he woke up not feeling well and i heard him like in the middle of the night i heard him like he was having a hard time like breathing and like you know that noise you make when you're trying to like clear your throat like he kept doing that and i was like oh he's definitely like like run down so I think both of us just need like, we need a break and as badly as I want to just like fully clean my house today and like go like balls to the wall, my body is like, no. <laughs> my body's just like, you need a break. So between that and like getting my period, I'm like unmotivated and also a little bit cranky. So I've decided that I'm just gonna do what I wanna do and kind of nix my responsibilities for the rest of the day. I made a tuna salad in case you're wondering what this is. It's literally spring mix, lentils, edamame, and this like tuna that we get from this place called Needed Bread in Port Chester. Rob was over there getting a haircut, so he picked up some for us, which was phenomenal because that means I didn't have to make it. Um, I made a little task list of things I need to do, so I just put it on my notes app. And so what I do is I like section it up. So for like work, I put like work and then I bullet point everything I need to do for work. For the kitchen, I put like kitchen and I just put like windows, molding, console, and chairs. And then in here, I just put like living room, everything. So I just did that for tomorrow. I just wrote down like everything I need to do that I want to get done tomorrow that I did not get done today. And then obviously if I get like a spurt of energy later and decide to like do anything, Thing, then I'll take it off my list but anyway I'm gonna eat this I'm literally just watching YouTube right now watching them just so that I can kind of figure out what type of content I enjoy so I can bring that content to my channel obviously like day-to-day -day life is pretty repetitive like at least for me I pretty much go to the gym go to work like walk and feed my dog make breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like, it's really nothing, like, groundbreaking that happens every day. Kaya is about to knock over my tripod. Up. She also got a bath, which was literally amazing. She needed a bath so badly. And Rob was 
so sweet this morning when he took a shower he was like i will just bring her in the shower with me and bathe her like it's not a big deal so that was like one less thing i had to do which i'm so grateful for i have to say like rob is pretty good about that kind of stuff like if you ask for help he will do it obviously there's certain things i don't ask him to do just because like i'm very particular about certain things and i know like no one's gonna do it the way i want it done like even when we had a cleaning lady like there were certain things like even after she would come i would like go and like clean certain things even after she was done um i do have a dinner tonight dinner's so late which i like if you guys know me you know i love an early dinner i, lo I love like if i'm going out to dinner i want the reservation for like 6 6 30 like i want to be like eating by seven out by nine but we have an eight o'clock reservation in Greenwich, Connecticut at this place called Townhouse. And I believe they have a location in Manhattan too. I'm not completely sure, but they just opened one in Greenwich and my friend lives in Armonk, so it's kind of like a good meeting point for us because it's the same distance for both of us to get there. Yeah, so I will be filming like my get ready with me and what I wear, I'll show you guys my outfit before we leave. Just saw the Amazon guy on my ring. Don't mind my Burks. Those are what I wear outside. So we're gonna open this and see what it is. Okay, perfect. I got this for our protein powder. protein powder that we got highly recommend we've been using it for a while and we have the chocolate we have the vanilla and we have the chai tea and actually this company was just on oh no i don't think they were on it but one of the girls that was on the skinny confidential podcast was saying like that this is the protein powder she uses and talking about how bomb it is and it is bomb and i can't even take credit for it because rob fully found it because i was freaking out one day about how bad all the protein powders are also rob got me a ring light which is why my videos like the lighting has been a little bit better but obviously it's not on right now which is why i look like this anyway yeah so let's pour this in I have the exact same container for the other two flavors. So this is what it looks like. Like I said, it fits like perfectly. Little cap. I'm going to need to label this, but the labeler is not where I can get it. Rob needs to get it, so I'm just going to wait for him to get home to get it. But I'm going to show you guys like the other ones. So... Um, I showed this last month. No, I showed this in January. I like read this whole Thing so like this whole side is basically like Rob's stuff ignore this. This is not brown sugar. I don't know Why I never took that off. This is Packets But yeah, this is the vanilla protein powder and then that one holds the um I think I said chai, not chai. Acai is the flavor. They do have a chai, and I think they also have a matcha flavor, but we obviously have like three protein powders right now, so like that's not necessary. But it fits perfectly. And then also, I don't think I talked about these, but I ordered these off of Amazon, and so far I really like them. Um, I feel like they are supposed to be really good for your skin, and then obviously like they're vegan and gluten-free and all that, so they're really good ingredients in case you're wondering it won't focus so it has really good ingredients and 
basically I've been putting this in my water either in the morning before I go to work or to my workout or if I forget I put it in at night but yeah it stayed pretty good and I'm gonna wipe down this counter because it's gonna drive me literally insane Kaya is still in her robe from this morning just chilling and I did put the pillow covers from the couch in the laundry so I do have one more load of laundry going I'm starting to get my energy back up because I literally made another coffee so I feel like that's starting to kick in a little bit so I'm not as like tired and groggy but I'm still kind of unmotivated to do everything I have to do so like I said I have a task list going on my phone of things that I need to do this weekend and it's like nothing crazy like it's something I could get done in like a few hours Kai is literally snoring um yeah I'm just gonna stay here and be a bum for a few more hours I don't know what time Rob's getting home I don't think he's getting home late because one of his friends is supposed to come over and help him with something and I know that he needs to clean his office before that person comes over because not only does he have laundry literally everywhere like his desk is a freaking mess just got ready for dinner i am just wearing this zara t-shirt that i showed you guys in a haul also a zara blazer and then these top shop leather pants and just black boots so that's my fit and then I'm just wearing this black pebbled leather bag by Sangmont and that's my look. Now I'm trying to decide if I should untuck my shirt. Mm. I think it's that cooler. Maybe. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. Uh, it doesn't matter because I got 